On December 23, 1983, an 82 car Conrail freight train was coming down the At Glen and Susquehanna branch, better known as the Enola Low Grade. This train had two locomotives and a crew of two. As it rounded the bend back there and came along the Susquehanna River, the crew spotted something a three ton boulder sitting in the middle of the track. The boulder had probably come dislodged from this cliff up here and rolled onto the track, like so. Residents of the area later said they heard a sound like dynamite. This wasn't too surprising. Dynamite was, after all, used to blast out this particular portion of the Enola low grade. But as you might imagine, what they actually heard was the sound of the Conrail freight train slamming into the boulder. Because there's a curve right back there, the engineer did not have much warning that the boulder was there, and did not have enough time to throw on the emergency brake and stop the train completely. The train folded like an accordion, and many cars fell into that valley right down there. Thankfully, the train crew made it out alive, although one member had a lifelong back injury from the incident. Unfortunately, the damage was immense. Both locomotives were totaled, and this whole valley filled up with crashed train. It took several days to clean up the mess. Even some of the rails had been ripped out of the roadbed by the force of the accident and Conrail freight trains had to be routed over the Amtrak Keystone Corridor until everything was repaired. The line ended up serving freight trains for about three more years before being abandoned and eventually turned into the Enola Low Grade Trail. But according to the website unchartedlancaster.com, which you should definitely check out by the way, there is still some wreckage of the train still down in this valley. So let's go see if we can find it. So it looks like there's a little trail that goes down into the valley. So I'm gonna hike down it and pick back up at the bottom. All right, here is our first look. You can see something that looks like rails and ties, which is in keeping with the story because some of the rails got ripped out. But like, look how bent this thing is. Here's another angle of the rails and ties. And then this looks like a couple more ties, too square to be naturally fallen wood. More rails and ties kind of wedged into that rock. A couple rails up there, and then you begin to see the remnants of a couple of boxcars. Here's a crumpled, some part of a boxcar. Train experts, please tell me which part this is. There's a, uh, metal beam that doesn't look like a rail. It looks like part of a train car. And then another like side of a box car or something like that. And then right here where I'm sitting, this looks like another piece of box car. Let's clean some of the snow off and see what it looks like. I realize I should definitely be wearing gloves to do this because you never know when you're gonna get cut by an old piece of metal. But here we are, you can see there's some lettering there. Here's some kind of lever or fastener or something. It's of course rusted completely tight. Not sure what railroad. Can't find any identifying marks. Now that's just great. Whoa, when you get up close, it looks really twisted up. Here's another up close look at the wreckage. Well, I found some lettering. Looks like this is something with the number 300 on it. Or is it something for the Sioux line? Make of that what you will. I'm grateful I was able to get this shot. This looks like something important. Can anybody tell me what it is? So I found this shock absorber on the ground. This is what it looks like. It's quite heavy. I'm going to put it down now. Here's another angle of the thing that's probably important. All right, well, I think I'm going to draw this video to a close because the sun is about to go down and I gotta get back to my car, but be sure to check out Uncharted Lancaster's coverage of this wreck, link in the description, a lot more history and some pictures of the locomotives after they were wrecked. Also be sure to subscribe to Glassy Whale and take care until the next one.